What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about running a clothing brand from home using a heat press and plastisol heat transfers. Now this is what my whole channel is based around is starting a clothing brand from home using a heat press and screen printed transfers or plastisol transfers. Both the same thing, two different names. Now first, let's talk about what a plastisol transfer is. This is one right here. This is a gang sheet from Transfer Express. There's a bunch of different designs on here, but what this is, is screen print plastisol ink. So these are printed with plastisol ink, the same exact ink that screen printers use to print directly onto t-shirts. Instead of printing onto a t-shirt, they're screen printing onto these transfer sheets. Same exact ink that screen printers use is the same exact ink that's on here. You could get these in any color ink that you want. These are just done in white. White's not the only option, but you can get other colors printed on here. So this sheet right here, I believe is like 11 by 14. There's a big back print here, left chest print, center chest print, center chest print for hoodies. So there's four different designs on this one sheet right here. Now, little backstory on how screen printed transfers work. Like I mentioned before, they burn a screen and they actually screen print onto the transfer paper where they would usually screen print directly onto a t-shirt. Instead of that t-shirt, they put a transfer paper down, screen print directly onto that. Now, the only difference between traditional screen printing and using something like a screen printed transfer or plastisol transfer is the curing process. Traditional screen printing, they'll print directly onto the shirt, send that t-shirt through a conveyor belt dryer like a pizza oven to cure the ink onto the t-shirt. With screen printed transfers, you cure the ink with your heat press. So you bring the heat press down, you set it at a certain temperature, certain duration time with a certain amount of pressure and you cure that sucker onto the t-shirt. So once again, this is not vinyl, this is not cut, this is not any of that. This is actually screen print on this transfer sheet. So this is ink laying on top of this transfer sheet. And then you take your scissors and then you cut the designs out. Good thing about Transfer Express is they have this grid on the back of their transfers to help you line it up. Everything will be squared away so it'll be easy to lay down. Now, let's talk about heat presses. This right here, Signature Pro by Heat Press Nation. This is a 15 by 15 heat press. Most of you guys that watch my channel understand exactly why I use this press, but let me demonstrate why I love this press. This function right here, this slide out drawer makes it so I can lay the transfers down. I'm not working directly under the heat. Traditional clamshell presses, you would have to lay the shirt down in here and work directly underneath the heat, potentially burning your knuckles. If you're trying to lay some transfers down, you would have to do it underneath the heat. With this press right here, pull it out. I'm not working directly under the heat. I can lay the transfer down perfect, slide it in, press it down, good to go. So once again, this is the Heat Press Nation Signature Pro. Difference between the Signature Series and the Signature Pro, this sure pressure knob right here. This right here has a little readout, so it's gonna tell you exactly how much pressure you have on here. So let's say that you're pressing hoodies, t-shirts, you have masks, you're pressing a bunch of different things. What you could do is set the pressure knob so you know, all right, I need heavy pressure for t-shirts. And then on the sure pressure knob, mine says 50. That's my heavy pressure. So I'll write down 50. So I know anytime that I press any t-shirts that needs heavy pressure, I set it at 50. Now, crew necks, hoodies, a little bit thicker, but you still need heavy pressure. You won't be pressing that at 50. You're gonna have to back it off some. So for myself, I press hoodies and I press crew necks at about 42. That feels like good heavy pressure for myself. So I write that down and then I know whenever I'm pressing hoodies, I could adjust that to 42. Say I have to press some t-shirts right after, I adjust that back down to 50. So that's the beauty of having that sure pressure knob is being able to see the numbers so you know what to spin your pressure down to. If you didn't have that, and let's say you had the traditional signature series or you have a regular clamshell heat press, that just has a knob but no readout. What I used to do is I used to take a Sharpie and I would mark the threads. Whatever that heavy pressure was, I would take a black Sharpie and mark around the top threads that I could still see. So I know anytime that I need to press some t-shirts, I bring it down to that black mark. And then I back it off 
for hoodies and crew necks. And then I take a red Sharpie and then mark the threads for the crew necks and hoodies. So I know, all right, when I do crew necks and hoodies, it has to be at the red line. And when I do t-shirts, it has to be at the black line. That's a helpful tip for anybody out there that doesn't have the sure pressure knob where they can actually see certain numbers when adjusting their pressure. All right, now you're probably just thinking to yourself, all you're doing is talking about buying transfer express transfers buying a heat press nation press how am i supposed to run my brand using these two things traditionally what you would do is you would get a bunch of t-shirts screen printed we'll just say four dozen you get 48 t-shirts screen printed with your design you fold them up bag them up you put your stickers in there and all your stuff for brand awareness but now you have 48 t-shirts pre-printed that you have to sell. Why does that sound like a bad thing? You gotta remember, those 48 t-shirts are gonna take up room in whatever storage space you have. Also, those 48 t-shirts are pre-printed, so if you can't sell them, they're already printed and you just have to deal with it. So where does a heat press and transfer sheets come into play? You could just stock blank t-shirts back here and as orders come in, you cut out the transfer, press it down. Now, remember, you have a bunch of different designs on these transfer sheets, right? So all you do is cut them out and have them ready to go. But you're not wasting any transfer sheets and you're not wasting any t-shirts because you're only pressing as orders come in. So this right here is a good way for you to control your inventory if you're operating from home or just getting started. A lot less wasted money, a lot less wasted space, and a lot less wasted time. So now you're only pressing and packaging up orders as they come in. So back here, I could have 48 blank t-shirts just sitting on the racks. But down here, I can have eight, nine different transfers that I could press onto those shirts. And on my website, it's gonna look like I have eight or nine different offerings of t-shirts on there, different designs, all that stuff. But the customer doesn't have to know that I only have 48 t-shirts on hand. So as orders come in, I could grab a blank t-shirt off the rack, I could grab a transfer, take it to my press, press it down, fold it up and ship it out. Now, let's say you offer size small, medium, large, extra large, and 2X. If you were to pre-print those t-shirts, you would have to pre-print size small, medium, large, extra large, and double X. Now, what if your customer base doesn't wear small and medium? You now have wasted those small and medium t-shirts pre-printed that you can't sell because your customer base doesn't wear that size and now it's just taking up room on your shelves. By controlling your inventory, using a heat press and transfers, if you have small and medium shirts that aren't moving, they are not pre-printed. So you could always press whatever you wanted on them. You don't have to use it for that specific brand. You could be selling it off for something else. You could be using it for custom shirts. You do not have to do anything with them because they're not pre-printed. So it's just a blank t-shirt while it sits on your shelf. Now, another question that I get all the time is how long do transfers last after I cut them up and put them in shelves? I'll put them all on these little racks. Sometimes I'll put them in envelopes. Sometimes I just keep them in the box that they came in. And I've pressed transfers that were years old with no issues. As long as it's not crazy humid in your workspace and there's not a lot of moisture that's floating around in your workspace, you should be all right. Like I said, I've pressed transfers that were years old, two, three years old, no issues. All right, so let me show you how all this works. I'm gonna show you using this Transfer Express Hot Split Transfer. That's the ink formula that I like to use when it comes to Transfer Express. This is white ink and it's gonna be going on to a black t-shirt. A lot of people always ask, can I put white hot split transfers on a black t-shirt? Yes, you can. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it right now. And like I said, I'm gonna be using the Heat Press Nation Signature Pro Press. All right, I know people are gonna ask. I'm using all style t-shirt premium 1701 i buy all my all style t-shirts directly from all style so you're gonna lay it down pre-press get all that moisture out you gotta remember these t-shirts have been sitting on a boat inside of a container in the middle of the ocean just collecting moisture. Supply chain's all messed up, ports are backed up, so you gotta remember you wanna get the moisture out of your t-shirt. So always pre-press your t-shirt to lay it flat and also get the moisture out. Here's the front left chest print that we cut from that big sheet. I'm going four fingers down. One, two, three, four. 
I lay the collar over the edge. I put my hand down just like this. Then I lay the transfer down, four fingers down. And then when I'm doing left chest prints, I go based off of the U and the collar. I got videos on this, but I go based off of the U and the collar from one point straight down. So four fingers down, based off of that U, I'm going from that point down. I'm pressing these at 371 for 10 seconds. Hot peel. This slide out drawer makes it easy for me to just peel the transfers right back up. Now, press the front. Now I'm gonna lay it down and press the back. No need to pre-press because we already pressed it. Here's the big back print from that same sheet. I just eyeball this. Once again, 371 for 10 seconds. There it is. Front hit, back hit, complaint department. Once again, this slide out drawer, lifesaver. If you didn't get the slide out drawer, I would recommend getting the swing away just so you're not working directly under the heat. It makes a big difference not to be working underneath the heat. All right, man, there you have it. That is how I run all the clothing brands that I do out of this space right here using Heat Press Nation Signature Pro Press and using Plastisol transfers or screen printed transfers. Now let's talk about price. These transfers right here are 11 by 14. You're paying for the sheet. It doesn't matter how many designs you put on this piece of paper right here. Whatever you could fit on this 11 by 14 sheet, you pay per sheet. So for example, if you bought 100 sheets, I believe it's like $1.80 a sheet. So $180 gets you 100 sheets. The good thing, you have this design right here, you have a small chest design, and you have two other chest designs on this one sheet. So you have a total of four designs all on this sheet right here, and you're only paying $1.80 a sheet. So if we just round it up and said $2, that'll basically make each design printed 50 cents. So this will be 50 cents, left chest print will be 50 cents, this one will be 50 cents, and then this one will be 50 cents. If we're just rounding up to straight $2 a sheet, that is the breakdown. So blank t-shirt, about $2.50. And then using gang sheets through Transfer Express, you're only paying 50 cents per design. So like I said, this one right here has four designs. If you did six designs, the breakdown will be even smaller. However many you could fit on a sheet, they do not care. All they care about is the sheet cost. So they're charging you per piece of paper, not per design. That's where this model right here works perfect for anybody starting a clothing brand from home and operating from home. You control your own inventory, very, very low overhead. And on top of that, you cut your costs down by so much using these types of transfers. So like I said, blank t-shirt, $2.50. Print, 50 cents per design. And that's just based off of this sheet right here that has four designs ganged up on there. I'm in to the t-shirt for $3. And at $3, I could sell this t-shirt for $12 retail and still triple my money. Hopefully this helps you guys out. I know there's a lot of people that ask that question. The whole reason why I built this channel was to show people that you can start clothing brands from home using a heat press and transfers. Now, Transfer Express, they offer a ton of different ink formulas. 
I like using the hot split and I also like using goof proof. Hot split to me just has a very, very soft hand feel and it doesn't leave that weird little glue outline that a lot of other transfer companies use. So you're always gonna get a clean print. All the lines are gonna be very, very sharp and look good. You're not gonna get no ghosting and none of that little outline that you see the adhesive kind of peeking through on some of these other transfers. So if you wanted to start a clothing brand, get yourself a heat press, get yourself some transfers and get going. Remember the goal is to save as much money as possible to make as much money as possible. Wasting money on pre-printed t-shirts that you can't sell is never the best way to get going. I know that's a traditional way of thinking, but we do have options like this now. But you don't gotta take my advice. This is just how I run my brands and my businesses. This is what works for me, so hopefully it might work for you. If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. I'm gonna leave links to these transfers, to these heat presses, to all kinds of different supplies, different graphic designers, all kind of shit is gonna be linked in the description box down below. So if you're looking for Signature Pro, if you're looking for Transfer Express, Hot Split Transfers, I got you covered. Appreciate you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yep.